We'll let that run for a bit and let's see how it looks. Take a look at the two maps together. Most of the countries line up pretty evenly. That's kind of cool. You might have heard that Harry and Meghan broke up with the Queen last month. I wanted to see where in the world people are talking about Harry and Meghan. We're going to use the Twitter API, Matplotlib, and GeoPandas to figure this out. Twitter's developer platform provides an innovative and powerful API for extracting data from tweets, Twitter accounts, direct messages, and more. Combining the Twitter API with Matplotlib and GeoPandas, we can pinpoint the exact spot that any tweet about the Harry and Meghan saga originated. First, we're going to install all the essential libraries like the Twitter API and GeoPandas. Then we're going to experiment with the Twitter API and see if we can get the geographical coordinates of tweets talking about Harry and Meghan. Next, we'll create a world map using GeoPandas, and to put it all together, we'll plot out the tweets on the map. Let's install all proper libraries on our machine. Open the command prompt and type pip install Twitter API. This will install the Twitter API. And then we'll pip install matplotlib. This will install matplotlib for us. Installing GeoPandas, though, takes a little bit more work. It requires installing all dependencies separately beforehand. There are five dependencies that come in wheels for GeoPandas. And wheels are Python packages saved in a .whl file. And these are used for supporting Python libraries. To install GeoPandas with pip, we'll need these five wheel files, gdal, fiona, Archery, pyproj, and shapely. I'll leave the links to wheel files below. Make sure you download the correct version for your machine and the version of Python that you're using. Once the wheels are downloaded, install them all individually with pip. Use pip install followed by the name of the wheel file to install them. I'll demonstrate how to install the first of the five files and then we can go to the next section. So first we'll do pip install followed by gdal and this will install the gdal dependency. Now let's begin writing our script. First, we need to import all the packages. We need Twitter API from the Twitter API library. We need GeoPandas. And we need a few other libraries to ensure Twitter API and GeoPandas can work together. These libraries include matplotlib's pyplot. I'm going to select this completion here from kite to label it as plt, since that's super common. And then we'll also need the JSON library and Descartes. Once the libraries are imported, we can start creating a Twitter API instance and make requests for tweets. This is done by calling Twitter API. These keys are then plugged into the Twitter API instance. The Twitter API administers massive amounts of data, and Twitter developer ensures the data is secured through authorization tokens. In order to work with the Twitter API, every developer needs to have a consumer key, a consumer secret key, access token key, and access token secret key. These are distributed by a Twitter developer and require you to have a Twitter account associated with the keys. I'll leave a link to get authorization tokens in the description below, and I'll blur mine out for security's sake. Let's set up our Twitter data extraction module, which we'll use to filter tweets about Harry and Meghan, and also extract their coordinates to see where they originated. To do this, we'll call api.request to get a response object containing the server's response to the request. This takes two parameters. The first is the name of the API endpoint. For us, it's statuses slash filter. And the second is a dictionary containing more specifications about the request to narrow down the results for us. We can filter by using users, keywords, locations, and even more variables. But in our case, let's just use the keywords attribute. I wanted to take a moment to tell you more about Kite, which is an AI coding assistant that's being used in this video. Kite is a free plugin for your code editor that uses machine learning to save you keystrokes while you're programming. If you're using Atom, VS Code, Spider, PyCharm, Sublime, or Vim, Kite will seamlessly integrate into your coding workflow. Kite can complete entire lines of code and has a feature called intelligent snippets that will help you fill in arguments and method calls with variables defined earlier in the script. The window you'll see on the right side of my screen throughout the video is also a Kite feature called the Kite Copilot. It automatically shows you relevant Python documentation while you type based on your cursor location. The best part of Kite is that it's free and you can download it from the link in the description below. The actual attribute is called track and takes a comma separated list of keywords. We'll use the keywords Harry and Megan. After making the request, let's print it out using its response attribute to see the results. The request was a success and we can see that through the 200 status code. With these tweets, we can iterate through them and get their geographic coordinates in the form of latitude and longitude. First, we'll create a list for the coordinates to reside. Then we'll use the get iterator function to make an iterator for going through tweets. 
Since this iterator will continue to generate tweets, let's make a while loop with a counter to extract the location of a select amount of tweets. We'll use 50 for now. Now that we have a loop going, we can call next with our iterator as its only parameter to get a tweet. Most tweets contain a place attribute associated with the location a person tweeted. To ensure it's in the tweet, we need to provide an if statement. We can say if place is in tweet and the place attribute is not none to check for a valid place. This place has a bounding box of coordinates stored in a variable named bounding box. This is a dictionary object and inside of it is a key named coordinates that maps to four coordinate points specifying the bounding box. For this video, we're only going to use one of the four coordinates to get an idea of where the tweet originated. This requires two brackets to index into. We can then append these values to coordinates. Don't forget to increase the counter. We'll also print the coordinates so we can see them while it runs. Now let's run the script and see those coordinates. Now that we have the latitude and longitude of the tweets in a list, we can use GeoPandas to plot them by their location. In order to plot onto a map, you're going to need a map in the form of a shapefile. I'm using one from the World Borders Dataset from thematicmapping.org. Open the file by calling gpd.readfile with the name of the shapefile as its only parameter. Now that we have the map, we can start making the plot. Create two variables, figure and axis, to store the result of calling plot.subplots, and subplots takes one parameter here, and that is the figure size. For this video, I'll be using 15 by 15. To plot the map onto the figure, call world underscore map dot plot, and provide the axis variable made in the previous step. Let's save the map to an image and look at it to ensure it worked. Call plot.savefig to save the plot and provide a file name as its only parameter. Let's comment out the Twitter API code for now so that we can just see the plot. When we run the script, the map should be visible in a 15 by 15 plot. Great, now we can begin plotting the tweets on the map. Let's uncomment the Twitter API stuff as well. Before saving the figure, create a for loop to iterate through the list of coordinates we created earlier. Now all we have to do is call plot.scatter to scatter points across the map. This takes x and y for latitude and longitude. We can also specify the color and shape of the scatter point, and this is through the attributes marker and color. We'll set the marker to an O and make the color red. Let's run the script and see if we get some points on the map. Open the command prompt and type pi, followed by the name of the script. We'll let that run for a bit, and then we should see the map image in our directory. Let's see how it looks. Awesome, there are plenty of points scattered around, and we can now show more by just increasing the counter in our while loop. After bumping up the total to 200 tweets, I noticed that all of the countries with tweets were at one point part of the British Empire. Take a look at the two maps together. Most of the countries line up pretty evenly. That's kind of cool. And that's it. We plotted the tweets about Harry and Meghan on a world map. This is a great way to learn how to use the Twitter API and how to capture tweets with the information they contain. Additionally, we can now leverage GeoPandas to create nice maps that incorporate any geodata that we find. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll have more Python tips and tricks coming your way. And please don't forget to check out the Kite AI Autocomplete plugin. The link's in the description below. We'll see you in the next video.